everyone, Alexandra here. So yesterday I was walking in a city in France and I saw this lovely old couple trying to get the picture of their lifetime in the city center and their friend who was also the photographer was just like struggling and really making it their goal to take the perfect shot. You know, getting uh, the the buildings, this just the sites in the picture and then also getting, you know, the subjects aka uh, this lovely old couple perfectly fit in the picture. Now the problem is, as you might guess, there's a lot of people around. So no matter how you frame the picture, and you, you can spend hours trying to get the perfect picture, but you're not going to get the people out of there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how anyone, literally anyone, no matter your age or skills, can use Canva uh, specifically their AI features to remove people, objects from an image. And uh, I chose to do this video because honestly, the process is super simple. So even if you just want to quickly publish something on Instagram, you can quickly just put your picture into Canva, remove everything you don't like in there, and then just upload it. So I'm going to start with, uh, I'm basically going to use some of the pictures I have on Instagram because for some reason I did not use this feature in the past and honestly it's a relatively recent feature. So I'm going to show you kind of like, you know, what you can do. Now note most of my images don't have a lot of people because I've tried to make it this way. Like I'm trying to take pictures in um, spots where there's few people essentially. So basically all you have to do is bring your picture into Canva and actually I'm going to show you how to do that correctly. So on your home page in Canva, so the main dashboard, on the right side you have the option to upload your image, choose a file and from here you can edit the image straight away and then just save it. Or the other option is to use it in a new design, click on custom size, and the actual size of the image will get added here. So when you click on create a new design, you have this entire, um, let's say, interface with all of the editing options. And again, if you just go click on the image, you can edit it from here straight away. So now let me just zoom in this a bit. You've got this image. You click on it, click on edit image. And you have your Magic Studio options in here. Note, they are mostly paid features. So you do have to have a paid account or a trial with Canva to use them. And you are interested specifically in the Magic Eraser option. With the Magic Edit option, the way this works is, for example, let's say I want to change the ceiling here. And I'm going to add something like ceiling with flowers. I'm going to click on generate. And basically this is going to recommend some, let's say elements or changes you can add to your image. Now, some of these look more natural like this, while others are a bit forced. So I don't necessarily recommend using it, using this feature per se, if you want to you know, get rid of certain elements. For example, if you see this red spot on the floor, you can go to Magic Edit. You can just brush, use the brush over it. And maybe let's say we want to replace it with a um, flower pot. And now Canva is going to give me some examples for, um, again, elements I could add in there. But as you can see, a lot of times they just seem super out of place. So instead, your option is to go to the magic eraser. And again, I'm going to zoom in a bit. Basically, you can work with your brush size from here. This is important because it's going to help you, you know, accurately remove this. Because if your brush size is too big, you risk just getting like the whole place, the whole area a bit blurry or just like looking like it's out of place. So instead you want the right size for this. You also have the option to click on an element, but this is not going to work for everything. Like you can see right now, it mostly works for people for instance. So if I click on this woman here, I'm going to erase her. It also works with like animals, cars, maybe big objects and just objects that are out of place. Uh, I could also remove myself to be fair, but um, as you can see, 
the woman was removed from there, but I still have maybe some other elements I might not be happy with that I want to remove. So I'm going back to showing you how the brush works, selecting the right size, just coloring it, so to say. Click on erase, and this is actually going to work super nicely. Nobody's going to notice this, so to say. And you can also try this with, uh, let's say, a smaller brush size and kind of like removing maybe objects from here. So let's see if we can remove all of the elements. Now, in cases like this, where it's not a person, uh, not a car, not like a one color thing, it might be a bit more difficult for the AI tool that we have right here to actually tell what they should remove, right? So for example, with a bin like this, it's just going to remove it all together, like so. And likewise, you can try maybe removing this entire door here, but it's going to be a bit difficult for AI to kind of put something else instead. So what they're going to do is like you can see this kind of like blurry washed out wall, so to say. If you're happy with this, it's fine. Also, if you remove multiple elements like with these ads in here, you could try selecting multiple elements, clicking on erase, and Canva is just going to have a better idea that, you know, you want to get rid of those. But uh, again, with parts like this, it's a bit more difficult because one, you would have to keep adjusting and keep, you know, blurring out the areas just so you can have a decent final result. My suggestion is to stick with, you know, people or objects that are really, really out of place because otherwise you risk ending up with something like this when, you know, you could have something like this, which is, you know, perfectly fine as well, where you got rid of a person because, you know, you might want to get rid of people because to be fair, they did not give their approval to be in your picture. So let me show you kind of like some other examples, but I'm going to start with a scenario where AI just does not work. So here we are in the famous Rome, Italy. You've got yourself a plane ticket and all that. And, and yes, you can get yourself a perfect shot in here. But guess what? The magic eraser, and to be fair, any kind of editing tool is not really going to work in this case because there's just too many people. You can try removing one person, so to say, kind of like this. And as you can see, <laughs> There is still difficulty with, with both Canva, Photoshop, whatever you're using in kind of getting like an accurate actual background, aka in Canva's AI capabilities telling what's behind that person. So this is going to look bad. And the worst thing is if you go and just like brush everyone out of the picture, so to say, this is going to look basically awful in the end. Let me show you. Note it's also important to consider what you have behind those people. For example, removing this building would be easier because it's easy for AI to recreate the sky. But when you've got pavement like this and then just a lot of other columns and things like that, it just looks horrible if you ask me. So let me show you some scenarios where you can use this tool correctly. Now here we have part of a picture with me and my partner and there were some people in the background. For me, it's not a problem because, you know, they're just far away in the distance and you can't really see them. But if you want to make it seem like you are on a secluded beach or you're the only people around, you have to just use the eraser. Kind of like so to remove these. Now, again, with areas like this, where the sand is different uh, because of, you know, just like water coming in and going, it might be a bit more blurry, if that makes sense. And then, as you can see, you have some people here as well. So this is going to be a difficult job for AI. So let's see if they manage to handle it, because as you can see, they have to recreate the waves. So basically what they did was they just copied the waves here and put them on the right side. But this looks decent. It's definitely usable. There's no people in the background. Let's see another example. 
Okay, so here we definitely have multiple kind of characters and most importantly, complicated backgrounds. So let's try to first get rid of the pigeon because he is placed on a just kind of like simpler type of background. So, to so as you can see, the first try did get rid of the pigeon, but there is a random shadow in here. So we're actually going to want to get rid of that again. So you're just going to have to go through the magic eraser again to get this result, which is like perfect. Now let's see if this is going to work on the people. And in this case, actually, I would rather maybe use the clicking option because if Canva can identify these characters, it means it might just be able to get rid of all of them. So I have selected everything. I've selected the people, the bikes. Let's see what this is going to do. Okay. So this looks decent. Small problems here with like how blurry this is, but let's be honest, when you put this on just your social media, it's not going to be too obvious. I would personally choose this option, maybe just keep the pigeon or something like that. Um, yeah, so it definitely does work in this sense. Um, just for curiosity, we're also going to remove myself. <laughs> From here just to see kind of how Canva treats the door with like the other type of uh, yeah this definitely looks decent as you can see there's still like the shadow so this is definitely my shadow and this here is like the shadow from other people so let's just see if we can get kind of like um, realistic ish looking and yes it, it's looking decently if you understand how these tools work, you will be able to tell that this door looks a bit gamified, so to say. So a bit like, it's like a graphic, although it's literally just copied from the other side and recreated in here. Now here's one of my favorite pictures, <laughs> but there's a lot of people. So straight away, I'm going to tell you that it's going to be impossible to remove everyone and still have a natural looking um, image so let's see what we can do to some extent again go to the magic eraser click on click this time so we can select the elements that are you know obvious so i want to get rid of this person the partner unfortunately ai does not detect the head of the person behind this main character so we are going to have to maybe go back to tweaking that part essentially i'm also going to get rid of the people on the bit on the beach i'm also going to get rid of the people on the beach as much as possible so now we are erasing seven people all together let's see what this is going to look like okay so so far what happened is they removed the person here, including the partner to some extent. But since I selected completely different elements because we had the bigger person here and then the small elements in here, Canva just did not know how to treat these other people. So we're gonna have to go to click on all of them again because they are you know, in a similar setting, in a similar location with a similar background. And we are going to see how it treats it this time. So remember you have sometimes to go through multiple stages to get the final image you want, which can look like this. And then you can go and get rid of the backpack they forgot on the beach right here. And if there's any other strange element, you can remove that as well. Again, what I don't like about this tool is that it does you know, keep some blurry parts in there, if that makes sense. So it does look like maybe people were removed from this image. So that's why I would just stick to removing the essentials. So next, and for the final example, I'm really going to show you a more complicated image. So this is a similar location. It's just a darker image it's darker outside there's still like a diversity of textures and so on 
So honestly, I don't feel very optimistic about how this is going to end up. With images like this, honestly, just kind of like keep them as they are. Otherwise, it's really going to look a bit, you know, super blurry. Let's just see kind of what the result is. Okay, so as you can see, some of them were actually removed pretty fine. But you have a lot of, you know, missing situations in here. For example, here, this part is super blurry. Like you would need to go and maybe remove these other people as well. Then you have this part here, not sure you can see it, where it's just like, you know, what is this? Is it a person? Is it something else? So my recommendation is to just stick to removing the necessary. So if you have the perfect shot, but somebody's hand is in the picture, or if somebody's face is in the picture and you don't want to show them, that's when you remove them, so to say. So I'm going to show you an example for that. So here is me, seemingly no one, except for this person on the right here. So we're going to click on, on the image, click on edit image, the magic eraser. And I'm literally just going to the brush or you can go to the click option as well. I do prefer using the brush because I feel like it gives me more accuracy over like any kind of like circles, um, twists and turns, whatever. So I'm just going to do it like this, click on erase. And basically this is how you use the tool correctly. Uh, if there's like elements that are left behind, again, just go and remove this as well. Sometimes it's going to take more time and that's perfectly fine because, um, you know, ultimately you're going to end up with a decent version. It's, you are really training the algorithm to some extent. And I also wanted to show you a nifty trick for removing writing, but I'm going to have to scroll a lot here to find some of the handwritten poetry I have from the past. Or by the way, you can use it to remove um, graffiti or things like that. You know, that is, it, it depends on, you know, why you need that image. If you want to show the reality, just leave the graffiti in there. Otherwise, it's perfectly fine to, you know, remove it to have like the perfect image. Okay, so here I have some of the text I've written. I'm gonna go to the magic eraser and let's say I want to remove this word and this word and uh, this part here since it's longer. And we're just gonna click on erase and we are literally going to end up with four words only. And then for like small stuff like this in here and whatever else is in the original picture, again, you can remove it as you wish. So yeah, I mean, my recommendation is to use this tool adequately as much as possible. If you have any unique ways of using this tool, feel free to write it in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, uh, like the video, and I will see you in the next video. See you soon.